out here, we're all in the same boat, man. And we've all got the bush, we've all got the beach, we've got this wicked environment. You can exist, coexist really, with nature. If you're bringing your rubbish to Piha, we'd really like you to take it away. This is not the tip, this is the beach. We've all, you know, we're all stakeholders, eh? In, in, our, in the ecology and the environment of, of Aotearoa, and we've all got a responsibility for it. Plastic bags in the store we got rid of two years ago. That was a no-brainer for me. And in fact, it came down to, how come I didn't do this earlier? We had people come in here and buy a Herald, say, can I have a plastic bag for it? No. Right there is this amazing wilderness park called the Sea, or the Tasman Sea. And out there are hectare dolphins and Maui dolphins and just general bird and fish life. And you are giving them a bag to put it in, which potentially could end up in the ocean wrapped around a dolphin's nose. And I, I know that's an extreme, perhaps, example, but if, that, if that's a possibility, doesn't it just make sense that I not offer plastic bags? You know, we're proud to be Westies, and the West really attracts an artistic sort of person. My heart's been in the West Coast, you know, for a long time. And I just love the bush, the whole environment, the ocean, the people that it attracts. You know, it's sort of a creative person comes to live out here. Like I'm nearly 70. So I've seen what the modern world has done to our environment and seen how our excesses have created such a problem. So that's how the idea started. We'll put it out to all our artists that, okay, just think. What do you got? What can you do? Use up whatever's in your garage. Make us some art that can be recycled, revamp, recreate. So we're just waiting for all the entries to come in and I think we'll get quite a good exhibition out of it. We can get the preschool to come in and Danny, the preschool art teacher, will work with the kids to create work that'll come down to the gallery and be part of the exhibition. Two legs, at least four legs, and one little head is about this size, and, and, and the chin was about this size. Over like two um, terms, we created those bugs out of recycled materials, and yeah, it was heaps of fun. I called him a uh, cutie because he's so cute. I know what recycling is, recycling. Uh, it's rubbish, put it in the recycling bin. Because a lot of the young children are in it too, they love coming down to the gallery and seeing their work on the walls. You know what? Do you know what I'm doing it? I'm making it for the art gallery so so we can buy so I can so 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 we can so Daddy can take me to buy another lurker. This really amazing artist, I think he is sort of quite famous, but I didn't know that. And he heard that we were organising a creatures exhibition. Martin, the robot man, horse pool, and I make assemblage uh, artworks out of uh, vintage components that I collect, specifically from the 1950s and 60s. You know, some people will see uh, like a, an old fridge 
door handle. And they're thinking, well, you know, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. And I'll see it and I think, oh my God, I've got a whole raft of things that I can do with an interesting object like that. You know, because it's, it's, it's a thing of beauty in my eyes and it's a thing of junk in other people's eyes. Mm. It's my uh, purpose to build and recycle and get interesting objects and then repurpose them into into in more interesting objects again. So this would probably be some sort of like a, a racing motorbike mechanic. That one there would be this funny, funny little quirky one there. He's a little bit more intellectual with a bit of, he's got more sh shiny bits and pieces on him and he sort of flies around. He's probably an inspector of things. But they all live in this sort of funny crazy junk world of vintage. I made that great big um, re reindeer robot um, sort of style creation, which is like certainly one of the bigger pieces that I've made. It's difficult because I wanted to take, take a really good photograph of it and I needed like a big sort of expansive space. And I thought about doing it in the bush, but it, it would get lost. So I thought it really needed to be on the beach. Got some funny looks from tourists saying, what well, on earth he's doing there? And then by some complete fluke, um, I popped into the, the uh, the West Coast Gallery there and realised that they were having, a, having an exhibition. And he came into the gallery and said, am I able to put a piece in? And we said, okay, are you a Westie? Where do you live? And he goes, Titarangi. And I said, fine, you're in. This is I am Spare Particus. <laughs> oh, I see. I he's, think his back's quite nice. There's nothing, nothing more heartwarming than coming home and knowing that that's, oh, that's where I'm going. That's where I live, but also when you get to the top of the hill, the lookout, and just stop and kind of like have to pinch yourself and say, "Wow!" And so it's an honour, it's a privilege, and, and it's a it's a privilege to serve our community. Yeah, so I'm I'm one of the lucky people. <laughs> I really love going out to the west coast, you know, going down to Kerry Kerry or uh, Potipu, and just being immersed in the like the wilderness and here in the sea and where it's like amazing it's just like being in Jurassic Park. I can imagine the triceratops coming around the corner. Being Piha and the beautiful Whitex, I mean, hey, we've got to keep it clean. There's a lot of people that have realised that there's huge value to be had for their children by bringing your children, children up in a, in a village where people actually do care. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't see it as being uh, anything other than a simple step to do our bit, think about where it ends up, you know. A paper bag's not going to kill a dolphin, mate. Plastic bag will. And it doesn't really matter what, what the cost is, it's, it's the fact that, okay, there's my line in the sand. I'm not going anywhere over there because that's plastic bag country. <laughs>